Have you ever um, seen like cloning chambers or anything on a, on a craft? Yeah. Or... yeah, yeah, I've seen cloning chambers. Um, this would be more in lines with like uh, the Nordic type of being, you know, uh, looks like a Pleiadian, but it's actually like a what people would call a Pleiadian, but actually it's a it's a holographic image being placed over a reptilian type of entity. And uh, I got a whole tour of like, a, it seemed like an underground facility. It was almost like they wanted me to be uh, an ambassador for them. And it's like I was getting a, uh, a job opportunity. So they were like, I was getting a tour of the facility and uh, I didn't like it one bit. I was like, I'm out, I'm out. And um, this, this, uh, this has been like, kind of like, I've been trying to warn people about this. It's like nothing you have to worry about. Just something that I suggest people being aware of. And it was like, I'm, I'm getting a tour of this facility. It seemed underground. I have a liaison with me and he was the tall, good looking dude, you know, blonde hair, the blue jumpsuit with the insignia. And he called himself the Galactic Federation of Light. Oh, yeah. Right. And I'm like, cool, cool, check it out. And other beings are walking by like him. And I remember getting this, they'd look at me weird. They had this uneasy feeling in my stomach. And I remember looking at one and I see this like a digital distortion. You know, like when, when the bandwidth is trying to catch up and you get that digital like distortion. Well, behind that was a reptilian. And it was like, a, had a little bit of a snout on them. Um, you know, uh, kind of like ridges on the head brown uh glowing yellow eyes right with a slit in it and i was like whoa what the, what was that you know what was, the, what was the deal with that and they're like okay well, look we'll come into this there's room and there's like these computers looking things on the wall kind of like a james bond bad guy lair with like the computers like along the the walls you know with like people at the different stations you know and there was like this crazy geometric like chamber and there's like this is the uh, um the learning chambers and uh you know where have we heard this before but ascension chamber right this is your learning chamber where you'd go in you downloaded the uh, uh secrets of the universe i'm like and i'm not going into that it's super cool it, and then we go along and there's these corridors that go down and then lining the corridors were these glass tubes, right? And there's these beings that look like the being that was at my back door, right? And uh, they said, these are, here's our cloning chambers. And I remember like, mm, just this doesn't, something doesn't feel right here. So that I got to see the cloning chambers there, but it wasn't like people inside of them. It was like rows and rows of these like ET looking things. And then we go into another room and uh, they say, this is, these are the controllers. And they're like these computers lined up against the wall. And it had this like little being plugged into them, kind of like in the movie, The Matrix in a sense where everyone's all plugged in, but these are these little like atrophied, like they've been there for a long time, right? And they say, these are the controllers. This is where all your channeled messages come from. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, none of this sounds good, you know? And at that moment, I'm like, I'm out, I'm out. I'm like, I don't want any part of this. And uh, poof, you know, I was black out, woke up, but, you know, after then, and I, Forgive me for the people out there listening that, you know, do all the channeling with the Archangel Michaels and uh, Ashtar Command. These are the names that these beings use to channel. If you ever notice that it's kind of died down a bit, but there was this peak of it. And it was like, well, this event's going to happen. They were never right. They were never, ever on point. But they would give you like really good information, like, uh, about spirituality and stuff and so there's like truth in it but then like there was these other things and it was like ah, yeah and I can feel it on people ever since I did that I can feel on people that are like into that you know 